I'm excited by the scope and depth of the Mind Science Center's research. Their research will unravel more insights about the human mind and derive evidence-based community programs and tools that will improve the lives of people. These outcomes will impact on population health. MSC's research is multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary in nature. This allows them to leverage the broad expertise across NUS. Human factor will be the key focus of research in the coming years. In Singapore, we see the need to emphasize our human resource optimization, as that's what will keep Singapore competitive in the ever-changing world of technology and businesses. As such, it's the necessary step for us to invest in the MySci Center, where the Research Center will innovate research on the human resilience factor and bring value to human enterprise. Singapore has one of the longest life expectancies in the world and an excellent healthcare system. Yet, mental health is often overlooked, despite its devastating impact on quality of life and function. Our approach to mental health needs to encompass preventive care, community care, reaching out to both the well and the at risk, and intervening upstream to prevent unnecessary ill health. The Mind Science Centre will bring the findings from its population health research to the public by developing evidence-based, scientifically robust and effective community-based intervention programs. We've identified the need to provide more training to enable community mental health professionals to better manage people who are struggling to cope with difficult circumstances in their lives. In 2020, the statistics stood at 4.4 psychiatrists and 8.3 psychologists per 100,000 population in Singapore, which is not sufficient. As such, we need to build a larger, multidisciplinary team of mental health professionals to improve the accessibility of mental health care resources. The three main research pillars of My Science Center in population-based mental and social health integrated therapeutics for the elderly, the youth and emerging adult mental wellness, the environmental effect on mental health, provide a focus to address current emerging national and global mental health challenges. It recognizes the critical challenge and influence of digitization on the individual and how environmental interaction could be leveraged to optimize collective well-being. The MySci Center has delivered what we call the Alpha, which is the Emotional Literacy First Aid, as well as what we call the CYRUS, which is the Singapore Youth Resilience Scale. These are respectively training programs and enhanced profiling tools which uh, we can use to help uh, both healthcare workers as well as youth in the community. So the idea is to get a local norm uh, on some of these resilience scales as well as to help our healthcare workers who are not otherwise trained in psychiatry or psychology in first aid for mental wellness. The third study is headed by Professor Rati Mahindran and is on community health and intergenerational study. And this study is unique in the sense that it helps to think about ideas on how to build into our community aging in place and family bonding. The next youth and emerging adult program will be covering a cohort of 18 to 25 years old to investigate the effects of digitization, globalization, sustainability, post-pandemic changes. It will study the effects and impact on mental and physical well-being and map how this would affect their decision-making, independence and interdependence in the community. The value of scientific research is purely academic unless it can be translated into useful activities that benefit the community. Mind Science Center's Age Well Everyday program is a perfect example of how the findings of scientific research can be translated into a structured program of education and activities which, with the cooperation of community leaders and volunteers, can enable our seniors to age healthily and happily. The community programs and initiatives like HL Everyday, Mind Art Experiential Lab, Mind Gym and Dementia Asia are designed to reach out to all ethnic groups. These community efforts provide a platform to build racial cohesion and harmony besides achieving healthcare objectives. The resources and materials 
will be translated into various languages and phases for greater outreach and impact. The centre will work with Alexandra Hospital in various uh, projects, especially in the Queenstown Health District. We work together to develop initiatives targeted towards developing and promoting mental well-being. And some of these efforts would especially focus on the youth as well as the elderly. Mind Science Centre is a perfect place to test out new and research-based approaches to build the mental resilience of our nation. Mental health shouldn't be something people think about only when they experience mental health episodes or when they become older. To enable Singaporeans to live more years in good health, we need to start building and expanding the mental capacity of the population now. The Mind Science Centre will continue to broaden and deepen our knowledge of what it takes to stay mentally strong. And it will work with the community leaders and other partners to pass on that knowledge and promote lifestyles that will help young and old to develop mental resilience. The centre will be the bridge to bring research talents from various disciplines together and collaborate with overseas partners to impact our cognitive performance and emotional resilience. Center's vision of building mental resilience across all ages is important. I wish the center will make substantial impact in this aspect. With the support of key stakeholders, resources, and donations, we will work towards pitching My Science Center as a center that advocates mental health research with a focus on the unique needs of Singapore's multi-ethnic and multi-cultural populations and as a sandbox for the profiling of the Asian phenotype. The aim is to help everyone stay well, thrive and contribute their best to society for a healthier and happier Singapore. We envisage a future in which working adults under stress can openly discuss their mental health issues and readily find self-help resources developed just for them. A future where children with, will have strong support from their families and guidance from mentors. And seniors will be happily engaged in community activities. <laughs>